Hello there, Internet version 2 here. Well, that was a weird face. With Let's Play Yakuza 0. Today is something that has been long awaited, and it is finally here. It is the moment where businesses for both characters are completely finished, and everything but the final sub stories, which will unlock at almost the end of the game, are done done all of this main shit is like oh sorry not all the main shit all the side shit is done all sub stories are done all friendships are done except for the money one which again we have to progress further there's all the sub stories except for the ones that unlock at the end of the game are done the businesses are done for both characters from this point until the end of the game where we do those last two sub stories it is a story going from that this point onwards and holy fucking shit am i excited Fuck you, buddy. Fuck no, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Just hit all of you. Yeah. Oh, oh, I did a hit move. Whoa, that's different. This is different. Whoa, that's like an advanced move then. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit, Majima. Holy fuck. Okay. Okay. Someone did tell me that I missed a heat move with um this, which I thought I did it because it was that um the having three levels of stuff and then doing the counter. I thought that was the heat move. Oh wow, that's the ground attack for triangle on this. Just a giant plunging attack. Holy sh okay, okay. Before we go any further, go back into this for a second. Go go into this. I need to check out heat actions. What heat actions do we have that are for that stuff? This. Okay. Essence of Mad Dog. More. There are ones here, but they may be slugger, they may not be slugger. Um, oh yeah, I never did this one. Triangle after guard break on that one. I never tr actually tried that one. I should try that. Essence of the Mad Dog. Maul. Combine your dagger and martial arts skills to defeat multiple enemies. The Mad Dog of Shimano shows off his secret moves. Triangle near three plus enemies. The fact that it ends with that, you're so pathetic thing. That is awesome. Holy shit. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, until we do those two final sub stories, which happens like at the very last moment before the end of the game, it is a through line of just story from this point onwards, which is going to be exciting. It's going to be the like most amount of episodes that we've had in a row of just pure story since the beginning of the game, and even in that case, it will probably be more than what we had at the at the beginning of the game. So that's going to be fucking awesome. Like, oh man. It's gonna be a lot. The story has very much picked up. Again, Lee blew the fuck up and Makoto got kidnapped. And we've done nothing about it since. Good god, this is over the top of shit. Like, that is his kick that he does to the knife into people from another heat move. But just so much more over the top. And the grabbing the knife out of them, just being like, you're so pathetic. It's like, holy fucking shit, Majima. Good god. Okay, before we go to the story, I do want to go into here. I just want to repair every weapon that I have, just to be just to be on the safe side. Super spicy knife is still overpowered as fuck, so we'll repair everything while we're here. Um, repair, there it is. Just want to repair everything, just to make super sure. Okay, so repairing the cannon just re refills my ammo for it. That's good. Repairing weapons just gives you that. Oh, actually, you know what I should do? Um, oh, also, I prepared myself for anything that we're going to come up against. So, uh, we're ready for that. I should go into this. I should put this on. The golden shotgun. Made from solid gold. 99 shots. It's pretty fucking good. Put that on just in case. If I ever need to pull out a gun on someone, I have a golden shotgun. It cost me a lot of completion points to get it. So, I might as well use it at some point. But hey, the story. We're going to the Gijin clan and we're going to beat the fuck out of some people to find out where the hell Makoto is. <laughs> they seem to want her alive, so I'm curious how this is going to go. All right. And here we go. Gijin clan office. Up the elevator. The Gijin clan office is up on the third floor. All good to go up and bust some heads? Hell yeah. I mean, it's only the beginning of the chapter. Like, it's literally the beginning of the chapter. I watched the cutscene for the beginning where we were being tortured. And I've done nothing what? since then. What? Majima, what the hell are you doing here? I want to know where the you fuck you took Makoto. Oh. Makimura Makoto wa doko e? Huh? Asking rather calmly. 
俺んとこからあの子を盗んだ男。あれや、西谷のお仲間やろ。Yeah, we want to know more about Nishitani and what the fuck he's up to. どこにおんねん。Dudes? 何のことやらさっぱりわからんな。<笑>せやけど。And what the fuck is his plan? I mean, he's not so good. 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 I can whip the shit out of all of you in this room. I'm also now extremely more powerful than when the last time I did it, so. I don't know if I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. You have all these expensive computers and they're going to be destroyed in this fight. This fancy wood wall that you've got covered in blood. It's going to be a bitch to wash watch that out. Those, those vases that you got there and plates, probably expensive. But guess what doesn't care? The motherfucking Mad Dog of Shimano. Which I'm also very curious about that name, considering we seem to currently be on Shimano's shit list. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm sure. I'm sure this name, the name of this skill, isn't technically a spoiler or anything. Okay, one of you has got a gun. I know the fuck style that allows me to withstand bullets, but it's fine. Hey, by the by the way, no, you fucking don't. You don't try to pull a gun on me, asshole. Where are you? I love how I can just. I love how I just get this massive run after a combo finish with this. Like, after doing this, I just get to run around and damage people as I run through them. It's such a unique style. Like, Dragon of Dojima for Kiryu feels like an advancement on his beast style. Mad Dog of Shimano feels like something else entirely. I mean, most of Majima's styles do. Breaker is completely different. Even, like, um... <laughs> Slugger is just like a permanent weapon style. And Thug's just a very high quality, typical fighting style. Then who can I go beat up that would know? This is not helpful. Dudes in prison! <laughs> I was about to say! <laughs> because then, how would I get out? ま、ま、で、ふざけてんて。ビリケンさんに頼んだらええね。ふ? ビリケン? <laughs> An in with the police. Why is Nishitani still in prison? Hmm. I still don't even understand why Nishitani yes. put himself in prison. Again, he called the cops from the Grands to be put into prison. I still don't know why Nishitani he did that. Because you spill everything. <laughs> 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 oh, Mashima. <laughs> like, he came in here hoping that would happen, but it's just like, really? I was able to do that? God, you guys fucking suck. <laughs> uh, Spillikin guy's a detective who can get me into the can to see Nishitani. Hangs out on Bishamon Bridge, the guy said. It's worth a look. I can't imagine where. Okay, which one's Bishamon? That's the other one, right? Yeah, because this is. Yeah, why? Alright, to, <laughs> to the bridge! Oh, fuck it. Damn! I got a completion point for it. Worked hard for the- Oh, hell yeah. Everything works perfectly all at once there. Yay, new trophies. Never gonna get every trophy in this game. I've already put so many hours just completing every sub-story and friendship and business stuff into this game. To complete every trophy is just like, 
Oh my god, that completion list. Also requires replaying the game uh, the game on Legend difficulty. Which for Legend difficulty, um, I've been informed, you can't just re um, go into New Game Plus, so you have to start at the beginning of the game with all your skills lowered, which means I'd have to redo all the business stuff to do it. Alright, hi there, clear detective person because of the jacket. What's up, Billiken, son? Smoking a cigarette, mm. like a true detective. That wasn't even intentional. A lot of people call Majima skinny. Honestly, I'm going to ask you to ask me to ask you to ask me to ask you. Which I guess makes sense. A lot of his attacks that he uses don't have as much power behind him as Kyrgyz. Kyrgyz is more built. Like his base style is using a bat. <laughs> you can say I'm a friend. Oh. <laughs> an enemy. And an asshole. にしたには用心深いやつや。嘘も見破れんでかお窓口にするはずがない。正直に言うたら、あんたも一手間省けるやろしな。Which <laughs> The 80s, what do you want? Majima, you don't know. This feels like the biggest fucking trap. This is a huge trap. No way at all we're going to be shoved into the water from this boat. No way at all. It's not like the name of this chapter is a murky riverbed or anything. No way we're going to be shoved into the river. Oh, we're getting fancy cutscenes now. I love how this game has like four or five different ways of doing cutscenes. I love it. I got genuinely love it. I think it's a really cool creative. Even though in some cases it's definitely about the money. <laughs> Seriously, it's not good. <laughs> たちばが違えば、ダチになるたてきもあるやろ。西谷とは大田ばかりや。あいつの歌よしらん。あんたやつを古くから知っとるんか。古いもなんもあいつがガギンゴロから知っとるわ。ほう。西谷はどんなガキ
What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm gonna guess this part is inaccurate to actual Japanese history and geography. What the shit? Tunnels may be real, but there's no way there's a fucking elevator in the middle of the goddamn fucking river taking down there. ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、
Well, good time to learn the fucking Mad Dog of Shimano style. Good God. Am I allowed? I said no rules, so I guess I'm allowed to take him by nine. Okay, so we're just- are we just going for like... Fucking horror movie, like, monster villains? Is that what we're just doing here? <laughs> Because <laughs> I don't have a long list of crimes, and it's gonna be like, nah. I'm got. I've got to be the only fucker who is coming down here in a full-on goddamn fucking suit, though. Good God, I figured you'd at least take off your jacket, dude. Ready? <laughs> All right, let's fucking go. Good go. All right then. All right, Ginger Chapman. Let's fucking go. Mad Dog of Shimano up in here. Wow. Okay, you are uh, block a lot. But can how long can you block against the Mad Dog? <laughs> this shit attacks people from the ground. Like it's one of the few attacks I can actually like get people off the ground. Fuck you. Yeah. Ah, fuck, that missed. Oh, the fact that Chomp can get people off the ground is amazing. Good god, this fucking fighting style. Good god. It is unrelenting. Winner, Gorrow Majima! Hell yeah. I did get stabbed at one point. And considering I was fighting a cannibal clan, if I lost there, I probably would be dead. So they don't. The, so they don't have to die for you to leave. Like the other people. Oh. Oh. All right. All right. Okay. Doctor killing his patients. I like how everyone else is meant to fight once a day, and I'm fighting three in a row. <laughs> Alright, okay, let's do this. Oh my good god! <laughs> Look at his fucking weapons! Alright, okay. Mad dog. Mad dog. Mad dog. Did you block my fucking chomp? Jesus. Chomp! Ah, fuck! Like, okay, chomp! Chomp combos! God, you're blocking my chomps! You're a prick! There it is! You get the chomp going, and people are just, like, it tears me. Oh, wow, okay. I don't know what. Alright, okay, you got all these claws, and now you're just doing drop kicks. This thing is. Okay. Having actual proper one on one fights, holy shit, the chomp is vicious if you can get it going. Like, you get a bunch of heat, and the chomp can just fucking go. The fact that it can get people off the ground is nuts! That's so nuts! Holy shit! It's so nuts that you can get people off the ground. You get someone down, and you just keep fucking going. Are oh, you gonna put the hardest person in ever against me? What should be a Mr. Shakedown? Dead Puncher. Alright, Mr. Sandman. I don't know if you're meant to be based on a real life boxer. But I'm gonna call you Mr. Sandman. <laughs> This is a fucked up thing to exist. There's so many people here. There's so many people here. <laughs> Just a puncher. He's tall. Alright. Alright, okay. Dead puncher, you may like think you're cool, but um how do you like knife combos? 
How do you like being stabbed with a knife? Okay, you're also just good at, at doing your actual punching attacks. Hey, your blocking's not holding up super great against this. I need to get better here. <laughs> I'm not getting enough hate from this. Which is an issue. Like, the building up the heat is when things die, but I think, like, as good as the style is once you get the heat, building up hate, hate with this style is actually kind of difficult. Like, because the normal uh, attacks are good, they're not fantastic, and they don't build up a shitload of heat. Which is why I have a million of these to just say, fuck it, no rules. Max out everything. Alright. Wow, look at the coloring of us now. Jump! Jump! Oh, come on. Jump attacks! <laughs> oh, wow, okay. The style switching got me through, got through that. Ah, oh, fuck. God damn it. <laughs> By beginning, the jump combo is the hardest part, but once you get it going, this happens! Once you get it going, this happens! <laughs> oh man, that's where the real viciousness of this style comes in. It is, you have to work for it. Like, you have to work for it. There's, it's a lot of heat builds up, and actually getting that first one off is not a freebie. But once you get that chomp combo going, good god does it fucking go. Also, I love the way that he just defeats the last person and just immediately starts smoking. Good god, Majima. Could you do it in a cooler way possible? Did you, like, practice how to do this the coolest way you possibly could? Good god, I'm glad I have Mad Dog Shimano for this, because, wow, that's a... Not sure you could afford me. <laughs> Well, a bitch. Oh, I'm a three round, so time for you to come through on your side of the bargain. Take me to Nishitani, motherfucker. I need to find out where the fuck Makoto is. Because I kind of need to beat Kiryu to it, because I don't know what the fuck Kiryu and Tachibana's plan is. Especially Tachibana, considering the whole arm um, thing that we learnt about. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty fucked up that it's just in the middle of the fucking river. It's such a deep fucking river. I never started that. I went fishing in that river. Hahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahah
the person who killed your daughter. Well, this is like some level of explanation for that. If that's what you want to call that. Good. Yeah, I'm all good. There's the Colosseum stuff that we can do, but no sub stores or anything are attached to it. It seems like it is just for money slash completion points. So I probably won't bother. You know, unless people tell me and then I just do it when I get to Marshall when I can play it later. On. Um, 